Tonight, President Trump flies to Davos, Switzerland for the World Economic Forum, becoming the first sitting president since Bill Clinton in 2000 to attend this meeting of the world's business elite. And the trip comes two days after the administration imposed new tariffs, in this case on foreign-made washing machines and solar panels. We will talk more about that with CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger in just a moment. But first, let's turn to Margaret Brennan, who is in Davos tonight. Margaret? A very snowy Davos at that, and President Trump will be bringing here his America First populist message to what is essentially the ground zero of globalization and capitalism. And while his nationalist rhetoric is unpopular with European leaders, his business friendly approach has won him praise and he is going to trumpet his recent success in lowering the corporate tax rate to 21 percent. He's going to urge foreign companies to invest in the U.S. He's having a private dinner with several CEOs tomorrow night and he'll also tout that 30 percent rise in the stock market since his election. Of course, that message is going to be hard to reconcile with the protectionist trade measures that he supports. He'll also meet with the leaders of the UK, France, Israel and Rwanda. And in that meeting, he's going to try to patch up any fallout from the disparaging remarks he reportedly recently made about African migrants. And so, Jeff, while he was never invited to this meeting of business elites when he worked in real estate, President Trump is going to be one of the most talked about keynotes at this entire forum. Margaret Brennan, thanks very much. Um, Jill, tariffs, protectionism, the possibility of trade wars has been an ongoing discussion. There has been reaction. Oh, absolutely. Already, South Korea and China, both of whom are directly impacted by those new tariffs that were unveiled this week, are saying they are going to go to the World Trade Organization and that they are going to make an official complaint. And I think that there's a big concern among the folks at Davos as to whether or not there's going to be some retaliation. You make a big move like this, you suspect something's going to come back and hurt us, that would be essentially a tariff on American exporters. Obviously not very good. I also should point out that at Davos, you've got a gathering of people who are globalists, essentially. This has been going on for 40 years, and these people want to foster more partnerships, not break them apart. Margaret, the, the, the president believes this protects American workers. That's right. And what uh, his secretaries here who have been uh, giving some speeches like Wilbur Ross have said uh, that they believe it should be reciprocal. What they mean by that is if another country puts a tariff on U.S. made products sold into their market, that the U.S. will put essentially taxes, tariffs on those products that they try to sell into the U.S. market. And while you think about that in terms of potential trade war with China, the president and his administration have actually also done this to an ally, South Korea. This is going to hit a number of Asian markets with some of the tariffs that Jill has been talking about. So this is something that uh, it doesn't just go one way. It's going to have repercussions and it's definitely uh, the talk of the town. And he run, Jill, he runs up against some economic, his, his own economic advisors who in some cases suggest this is not necessarily the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. You think about Gary Cohn, who used to work at Goldman Sachs for so many years, who attended Davos as part of the, the Goldman elite. Now he's part of an administration that is being seen as anti-globalist. And I think that this is going to be really important to, to underscore that essentially President Trump has to walk a fine line at Davos. He's got to deliver a speech that absolutely supports what he's done, but hopefully pulls those nerves down a little bit so that there is no reaction and we don't see any sort of economic repercussions. Essentially, the president is going to say, hey, what's good for the United States economy will in turn be very good for the world economy. You guys should like this. Joe Schlesinger here in our studio and Margaret Brennan in Davos. Thank you both, both very much.